Now, just yesterday, we brought you the Biden administration's pardon of marijuana possession under federal law. While the White House has specified that no one is currently in federal prison for marijuana possession alone, the pardon is still beneficial to many people. 13 WREX's Manny Estopinan tells us in studio here, he joins us to tell us how this pardon is helping those with a record. Hey, Manny. That's right, Derek. While this pardon isn't releasing anyone from federal prison anytime soon, the pardon is definitely helping many get the services they once they didn't have access to. Too many lives have been upended because of our failed approach to marijuana. The Biden administration pardoning thousands with a prior criminal record of marijuana possession under federal law. I even spoke to a gentleman yesterday who said that he was denied insurance coverage because of a possession charge back in 1998. That surprised me. I haven't, I have not heard that before. Peter is the supervising attorney for New Leaf, a state funded network of 20 nonprofit legal aid groups expunging state level cannabis possessions. People will apply for jobs and you know, it's kind of all over the board. I think the vast majority of people we speak to, they've lost job opportunities when they've had their background run and these cases come up. And even though they're minor possession cases. Federal convictions also appear on background checks when many are trying to rent or buy a home. Housing can be a big issue. Federally subsidized housing obviously is a big issue because again federally it's even if you're in the state of Illinois and it's legal here. Uh, federal housing there there's no uh, wiggle room when it comes to you know cannabis usage. While this pardon only serves as a temporary solution President Biden has directed the U.S. Attorney General to review how marijuana is categorized under federal law. But the more important part of his announcement was that he's, you know, he's advising and asking the government to look into really changing uh, the level, the classification of marijuana. So I, that's really important because I think it's going to make, it's going to change things greatly if that happens. At this time, the Department of Justice is working to devise a process to get those covered by the pardon with a certificate of proof so they can show the possible employers. And if you wish to expunge your state-level marijuana possession charges right now, visit newleafillinois.org. Derek.